Wir kommen zu einem Engländer, der seit Jahren als ein ganz, ganz großes Talent im englischen Darts gilt. Er hat vor letztem oder vor kurzem kurz noch seinen ersten PDC-Titel gewinnen können. Das war ein wichtiger und ein großer Erfolg für ihn. 27 Jahre ist er alt, die aktuelle 24 der Welt. Die Rede ist vom Rockstar Joe Cullen. Joe Cullen trifft auf die Nummer 4 der Setzliste. Er kommt aus den Niederlanden. Er hat sich in den letzten zwei Jahren in die Top 16 gespielt. Ist inzwischen die Nummer 15 der Welt. Aber es lief in den letzten Wochen nicht ganz so gut. Er ist unzufrieden mit sich und seiner Leistung. Er will das hier in Saarbrücken in den Griff bekommen. Und wenn er kommt, dann hat die Stunde geschlagen. Big Ben! Benito van der Paas! Well, what a start we've had to the final day and finals day of the Happy Bet German Darts Open. Michael van Gerwen, Ian White and Rob Cross all averaging over 100 in reaching the quarterfinals. And now two of the bright shining stars of the PDC, Joe Cullen and Benito van der Paas, the number four seed, will be officiated by St. George Noble. And on the mic, Mike Lawrence. Yes, George Noble for St. George's Day. Looking forward to this one as well. As you say, two young guns, and uh, both will be have to be at their very best, whichever one prevails, against Rob Cross, who's turning into the, the star of this uh, weekend. When we came here on Friday, there were murmurs that uh, Rob Cross was someone to watch. You and Dan obviously have seen him in action on the uh, circuit over the last few months, but... Uh, big things tipped for him and he's certainly impressing this weekend but these two gents are impressing on the dart circuit as well the number four seed here Benito van der Pass who saw off Paul Nicholson 6-3 yesterday up against the rock star Joe Cullen who beat Vincent van der Voort yesterday Benito to throw first game on well, Cullen beat Benito at this stage of the German darts masters last year he went on then to beat Gary Anderson 6-0 in the quarterfinals before losing out to MVG in the last four. 59. Over van der Pass has had a 6-0 win against Cullen in a Players' Championship final. 45. Of course, both of these players now ranking title winners. Van der Pass won three last year. Joe Cullen won his first just a few weeks ago. Eighty three. Yeah, so decent form to start the year for Cullen. 57. And looking to progress to finals night here at the German Darts Open. 59. And Benito van der Pass, another young gun from the Netherlands. Being tipped for great things. and 140. Possible shout, people are saying, in the next couple of years or so if he continues to progress as a, a pick for the Premier League maybe and that's why first 180 of the match to leave 120 99 Benito you require 120 Cullen's on a finish the treble can still do it. it's an awkward one again there is the option for two bulls in that 60. routine if you get no, an awkward dart. Cullen will get a shot at the 160. Won't happen now, so Benito will be back for 60. Cullen just trying to 60. sneak Benito one over the top, but couldn't 60. quite hit the treble. So it'll be a round ton if Benito doesn't take this out. Nice and high with the first dart as he blocked himself. No, he hasn't. Sure, to the first leg. Benito van der Pass. They're Confident go finishing through first. from Benito van der Pass. I think it's fair to say he probably needs to put in 22. some decent runs on some, some of the TV majors to be uh, in with a shout of the uh, Premier League uh, Benito van der Pass. 59. Yeah, fair assessment, I think. And his next step is probably... 
winning one of these European Tour events. 100. Beat Michael Van Gerwen in the first ranking title he won a Players' Championship event last April, 6-5, and then wins against Cullen and Chisnell 100. to make a hat-trick of Pro Tour titles last year. But you are right, Mike. He needs to 57. produce his best on the big stage. Joe Cullen, a similar kind of standing of player. The two of the sort of, they're both in the 20s, the new breed kind of poster boy for the... 49. The dark player of today. Sixty. One hundred. And we'll see one of the most colourful characters on the circuit next when Peter Wright takes on Cristo Reyes of Spain. Ninety-two. Pulling down to a finish, but it's the biggest one of all. It's only for a hold of throw. That will help him a little bit. The Yuri loose dart from Van der Pass. Also on a ton plus combination. Well, he could do it. Another one of those for the bullseye for the biggest shot of the weekend. 145. Well, he moved the wire. He did. He nudged the uh, ring of the bullseye, but uh, Benito then a chance to break with double 16 for a 1-1-0 78, Joe Yukawa 25 big thud, the 9, the double 8 oh he can't nine. finish either Benito Yukawa so 32 so a lifeline to Benito but all three of those darts, the one at the ball and the two at double 8 were so close as is that from Van der Pass Aim short in the second leg. Benito van der He's found a way past it and into the double, and he doubles his lead. Benito to throw first. Game off. Cullen was impressive, wasn't he, against Vincent van der Voort yesterday? Yes, yeah, a good display from Cullen in that one. 100. Averaging 98.7 in that 6-4 uh, win. 86. Because uh, we saw four seeds fall yesterday, and uh, that was one which maybe some might have thought might have been right for an upset. Van der Voort 60. against uh, Cullen, but it was Cullen, the number 13 seed, who prevailed. And he looks to fill up the bed oh here. First 180 no of the match. Easy. We're only a couple of legs in, but it hasn't hit the heights of the previous game so far. 129. Had its moments. Well, that for one city. Put him there over 180. 82. Does leave himself a finish. But Benito. 100. Just You're trying to apply a bit of pressure. And uh, Benito will be back then to race to a 3 0 lead here. He takes out the 112. 97. Benito recall 112. Yeah, just needs the one treble. Well, it's still on. 57. Doesn't get a shot at the bullet now. Cullen with a 72. chance to break and change Joe the complexion of this match. Double 18. Bends the wire again. Uh, in the third the leg, the Joe Cullen. Second dart at the double. Wolf leg Joe to throw first. Game on. Just to get him back in it. And that was uh, another break. 96. And uh, this first to six format uh, would have felt it might have been an uphill struggle if Benito van der Pass had gone 3-0 up in this one. Well, we thought that about Michael Van Gerwen yesterday when Ronnie Hybrex had the chance to get a three-leg advantage. This, of course, the third European Tour event of the year. Van der Pass did make the quarter-finals in the first one in Hildesheim, lost to Jelle Klaassen. 81. He was beaten in his first match by Roby John Rodriguez last weekend. 
134. Perfect. And he fills it up, never in doubt after that first start from Van der Pass. His second maximum of the match. 96. Benito Uruguay, 140. A finish. But it won't uh, go now, so Cullen back to draw us all 80. square. Joe Uruguay, 94. Oh, Mr. Board with the last start, Van der Pass. Cullen's gamble. Now he's going double double. But he's pulled it off. Full flag. And leveled the match. You throw first. Cool as you like from the rock star. 47. And although the average is not yet uh, hit the heights that we've. Uh, Seen. 121. Certainly brewing into an intriguing encounter which could go either way. 135. Well, Joe Cullen's certainly battle ready this season. He said that his lazy days are over. 60. Starting to put the work in over the last 12 months or so, and it's starting to bear fruits as well. He said in it, an interview after he lost in the quarterfinals of the UK Open in one of the best sessions of darts you're likely ever to see. One hundred and forty. He said that he felt that people had started missing against him because he was playing so well, and it has that effect on players. Ramped up the pressure on all his opponents because he's a force to be reckoned with these days. Let's see if that happens here today. 140. As he's put the pressure on Van der Pass here. Go on 96. So treble 20. 76 left. So he's going to go for 56. a double double in the Joe <laughs> in a way that Joe Cullen just did in the previous leg. It came off for Cullen, not for Van der Pass. Around the house as he goes, double five, and that 30. was a. Well, wide in the end, so. Ready to require 40. Tops then for Van der Pass. He shows in a fifth leg. At the first Please attempt. Van der Pass. To nudge. Six leg Joe's back ahead again. Game on. Yeah, funny old game, isn't it? Needed two doubles in a row. Hit them both to win the previous leg and then misses three clear. 121. To break Benito's throw in the following one. Ninety-six. Fifty-nine. Well, a chance here for Van der Pass after that disappointing visit from Cullen to fill his boots, but he hasn't done so. Unable to hit a treble himself, so. Ninety-five. Pulling in a decent position to get back. Oh, oh unlucky there from Van der Pass. Seemed to bounce off the other side. One hundred and twenty. And he followed it up with one in exactly the same place. Ninety-six. Ninety-four. Joe Uruguay, 130. So to draw us level again. Treble 20. Leaves the bullseye for a 1-3-0 checkout. 97. Well, disappointing 134. because that was a fantastic dart to find the treble 20 with a second. He will come back. Two darts at double. 98. Joe Uruguay, 33. Barring a darting disaster. Safely in the big one. Oh 17. dear. Oh dear, oh dear. 36. 218, straight in, no messing. 
And uh, the two leg lead that Benito enjoyed at the start of this match re-established and uh, you can see the frustration of Joe Cullen. Some of those uh, double attempts just a, a bit wayward. His sight's just a little bit out. 100. Uh, Cullen at times today. Well, he knows he's missed doubles in each of those two legs and the scoreline could have been flipped reverse. He's going to need to dig deep because Benito van der Pas is making a sprint to the finish line. His third 180 of the match. 81. And a quarter final tie against Rob Cross. 98. Awaiting the winner of this one. 140, Benito Rico, 123. So will it be as easy as 1, 2, 3 for Benito van der Pas to take this out? It won't happen now, but he has got time just to set the shot up for his return with coming on 180. Again, first start low 60. below the treble, so it makes it more difficult for him to find the target, and he would have liked to have... A Applied a little more pressure than that. And Van der Pass has two darts at double 18. He only needs one, and he's only one Vanderpass. away Jones, from a place in this evening's quarterfinals. Yes, he stepped it up again as Van der Pass. 96. His average up to the early 90s. As you can see there. 96. 140. Yeah, the Dutchman playing at a slightly higher level than he needed yesterday against Paul Nicholson. But if Rob Cross is in the same mood as he was earlier on against Simon Whitlock, he will have to raise that tonight. Let's not write off Cullen just yet. 95. Man with self professed newfound fighting qualities. Can you rally back from this position? 125, Joe. You require 125. Somewhere to start it. Again, that first start below the treble 20 bed, so having to switch. 96. Unable to take out the biggest outshot of all, but and a pass here. Obviously, not able to finish. And, 61. Uh, so you require 74. You come back for one, two, six, unless Cullen hits double top. He and he does hit double play. top Joe Cullen. to stop the rot and reduce the arrears to 5-3. to throw first. Game on. And again, first start at the end of a combination. Seems to be when he's had three clear that he's had trouble on the doubles. And he may not get to a double if Van der Pass carries on in this vein, in this leg. Fifty-five. Forty-two. Well, a slack visit from Benito. Can Joe make any great dent in it when he hits a ton? Just affecting his throw there and trying to switch around the board in the search for a big double, a big treble. Yeah, it's a bit nervy this leg. 76. Maybe Van der Pass feeling a bit of finish line fever, but Cullen unable to capitalise. Now, can he put things right? 136. One hundred. Well, Cullen's left a shot. You require one hundred and forty-two. Big Ben's not going to take out the big finish, so it's over to you, Joe. Eighty-four. So you require one hundred and seventy to raise the roof with a one seventy. 
The biggest out shot of the weekend. The biggest out shot of them all. He wants balls on. He hits it. What a superb shot. It had to happen. Benito van der Pass. One leg away from the match, and Joe Seven Cullen hits a 170. Well, what a Game shot on. that was from Joe Cullen. Missed the ball for it earlier on, moved the wire. But it had to go to stay alive. And he's taking it out. 80. The rock star stealing the show. We won't see a bigger finish than that this weekend. 100. And it was... Uh, as you alluded to, a fairly nervy leg from Benito, that one. one this allowed Cullen right back into it, and you mentioned his confidence. Certainly throwing with plenty of now, the man from Bradford. Well, is that touching? It's not. Yeah, he's awoken himself to the heights he's been hitting of late. 57. And we said he's, he said that he's got these fighting qualities now. In a decent position to force a decider. 134. And a pass desperate to avoid that prospect. But he could be staring it in the face. 60. Chance here to apply pressure. Certainly decent double stats from uh, Benito van der Pass. 60. But it'll be the one. 124. Six in the leg column that will be the all important one oh, oh my Michel word <laughs> a 170 the followed by a 124 and we are going to a decider folks back to back bullseye finishes from Joe Cullen couldn't hit a double earlier on just leave the ball Joe in every leg 39 and look at him go look at him go 140 well, talk about saving your best till last, Joe. One hundred and thirty-four. Well, he's landed two heavy blows to Benito van der Pass, but he has the throw in this decider. One hundred and forty. And it's a very good standard. It is indeed. Benito responding well, though. See there, three consecutive 15 darters from Cullen to hit back from 5-2 down. Well, Van der Pass has a chance to, to last, last. Doesn't have to go for it, mind. Can't happen now. We can't match the 170 we saw. Cullen hit a couple of legs ago. So he will come back. For the 130. 62. And a couple of Easy slack darts there from 36. Cullen won't have helped. Sorry, 36, of course. Double 18 he for the match. And, and well, he survived a scare there. The, the number four seed going through. Two fantastic out shots, a 170 and a 124 to put him right back in it. But it is Big Ben who goes through to take on Rob Cross in the second quarter final this evening. We'll hear a few words from him and then we will. See one of the stars of the show, big following in Germany, Peter Wright. He'll take on Christo Reyes next. Der sich toll zurückgekämpft hat mit dem 170er, dem 124er Finish. Benito, congratulations. That was difficult at the end. I mean, you were 5-2 up, and then he had this 170, 124 finish. That was really difficult. Yeah, he played really well in the end, and. Uh I was yesterday. I was nervous around the end, and now, and uh, yeah, when he hit that second ball for the five-five, I, I say to myself, it's still my own leg, and uh, I was 12 darts on the double, and uh, I'm glad I hit that double. Yeah, important match, I, I, I would say. Yeah, yesterday you told us the last couple of weeks it's not running that well. Yeah. That was a, a good situation for you to to get self-confidence. Yeah, but still, I had some darts that uh, I don't know, uh, bang, treble five. I don't know what happened, but. Still, uh, I won, and uh, it's a big confidence for me, and I'm looking forward for tonight. I'm, I'm feeling more relaxed than than last few weeks, so that's good. Rob Cross is your next uh, opponent. Interesting guy, huh? Suddenly he's in the quarters here. 
I think I lost to him two or three weeks ago. I played a really good game, and still I lost. So hopefully uh, I'm playing uh, the same tonight, and uh, my doubles were great. So uh, <laughs> hopefully tonight. Good. See you tonight. Thank you. Benito van der Paas. Er sagt, er hat sich endlich mal wieder wohlgefühlt seit Wochen bei einer Partie. Das war ein schwieriger Moment.